Who are you? And why have you kidnapped me? Where am I? I'm sorry. We mean no harm. It's just that we've been very fascinated by the human species and have been trying to create a clone for many years now, but can't seem to perfect it. We were hoping you'd be able to help us. We think we're almost done with the clone. except that we can't seem to perfect the body movement it can move but it's clumsy and it just can't bend can you tell me what's amiss it seems your clone doesn't have joints looks like our alien needs to understand the importance of joints and the role they play in movement welcome to the lesson on joints and their types joints what's that look here see the people walking human beings can walk and move different parts of their body because of joints joints connect two different parts of the body and enable body movements several movements take place in our bodies right from blinking our eyes to breathing to walking and even running As you see, we can bend different parts of our body because of joints. For instance, I can bend my arm because of this joint at the elbow. Your clone on the other hand just fell because it tried to bend its knees when there are no joints at the knees. So, do animals have joints too? For instance, that kangaroo that's jumping How does it move from one place to another? Well, animals have a different framework. Different types of animals move differently. For example, a snake moves differently from a cow, as does a bird from a fish. What do you mean by a different framework? Let me explain. Cows, for instance, use their legs to walk. while a snake uses its body to slither birds and insects on the other hand use their wings to fly while fishes use their fins to swim through water hmm but plants don't seem to move as animals do plants don't move from place to place as they are fixed in the soil but they do have movement So you mean they have joints? They don't have joints, but their branches move towards light, while their roots move towards the soil. Hmm, I see. How about human beings? Tell me how they move. Look at that man exercising. Watch as he moves. Notice his arms bending at the elbow and legs bending at the knee. Yes, we've been wondering for long now how that's been possible. Well, the human body contains several bones joined together at different places by joints. If you observe closely, we can bend or rotate our body parts only at those joints. I see. Now I understand why our clones were not able to move as smoothly as you do. Okay. So what kind of joints do I need to create? Are all joints the same? That's a good question. As you noticed, each body part is capable of different movements and is therefore controlled by different types of joints. What are the different types of joints in humans? Well, the joints in the human body include the ball and socket joint, the hinge joint, the pivotal joint and the fixed joint look at that man 
It's amazing how he can move his arms and legs with such ease. Is it because of the different types of joints you were talking about? That's right. Joints make movement possible. The arm movement is possible because of the ball and socket joint. Ball and socket joint? Yes. It's called the ball and socket joint because the joint works just like a ball and socket do. The bone of the arm is shaped like a ball at one end which fits into a cup-like cavity called the socket on the other bone. This joint allows flexible movement of the arm in all directions. I see. What about leg movement? Is there a ball and socket joint there as well? Yes, there is a ball and socket joint between the hip and legs as well. All right. Let me try to put a ball and socket joint in my clone as well. Thanks, Doc. But I still have a problem. While I have managed to get the arms and legs to rotate, they don't bend. Am I missing a joint here too? Yes. It's called a hinge joint and it allows the arms and legs to move back and forth. In some way, it works just like the hinge of a door. Look at the hinge of the door. The hinge allows the door to swing freely in a specific direction. In the same way, the hinge joint at the elbow connects the upper arm with the lower arm, while the hinge joint at the knee allows the leg to bend. I see. Now I understand the importance of the joints at the elbow and the knee. Let me go and implement these changes. Hey Doc, look, I've perfected the arm and leg movement, but I still can't seem to get neck movement. How do I get my clone to move its head? Well, the head is actually one part of the body that doesn't move at all. It's the neck that actually moves and the head just follows accordingly. The neck is connected to the head through the pivotal joint. The pivotal joint contains a cylindrical bone that rotates in a ring. While this joint is not as flexible as the ball and socket joint, it plays a crucial role in the human body. It allows the head to move to the left, right, forward and backward. That's interesting. Let me add this joint to my clone's neck. There's something else that you should know. While most joints in the body help in movement, not all joints aid flexibility. In fact, there are certain joints that make the bones immovable. They are called fixed joints. Really? I didn't know that. Yes, if you observe him closely, you'll notice that he is able to move only his lower jaw away from the head. The upper jaw is connected to the rest of the head through fixed joints and hence it is immovable. In fact, there are several other fixed joints in the skull that protect the brain from damage. Now I understand. Why don't you wait a while? In the meantime, I'll put the finishing touches to my clone. Once my clone starts moving perfectly, I'll drop you back home. Well. I've added all the joints, but there still seems to be a problem. It still continues to bump into things. Ah, that's because your clone lacks the power to think. Human beings use their brain. And I bet it'll take you years to clone the human brain. Congratulations! You have completed the lesson on joints and their types. In this lesson, you have learned to define joints, identify different types of joints in the human body, describe how the ball and socket joint works, describe how the hinge joint works, describe 
how the pivotal joint works and describe how fixed joints work.